a drug you don't want. I saw a woman in a dark place in her life. She was married and had five children, but for some reason, that wasn't enough for her. She started getting bored with her relationship with her husband and her family. She started looking somewhere else for pleasure in her life. She met a man that she thought was a good man and she started to have an affair with him. But what she didn't know was that this affair was going to destroy her family and her future. Every time she would have an affair on her husband with that man, it was like her adding water to her oil tank each time. But water and oil don't mix. Just like affairs and marriages don't mix. Relations can, relationships can be like a drug. It gives us a high when we want it. But when we come down, it has the potential of destroying our entire life and our entire family. We can lose everything and our future. Oil and water do not mix and they never will. I have a tendency of blaming God for everything bad happening in my life. But then I realize some of the bad things that happen to me, some of them are my choices, some are other people's choices. But God is good and will always be. And just because something bad is happening to me doesn't mean it's from God. This woman thought she could get away with mixing and unfair with her marriage, but time was running out and her husband was about to find out and she could lose everything. An affair is a drug that you do not want. It's exciting and a thrill for a moment, but in the end, it has potential of bringing great destruction to our lives. God says marriage is honored among all and a bed undefiled. And maybe sometimes we fall into a trap of the enemy that our marriage isn't good enough anymore, or maybe it's too boring now. God wants us to honor our marriages, starting with our own first, then others too. So remember, an affair is a drug you do not want.